to the library. That romantics and Victorian's essay is due tomorrow and I've got so much reading. And I've still to do the bibliography. Oh, I can't concentrate, I just... What do you expect, leaving it to last minute? I did mine weeks ago. You might have reminded me. I thought you'd done it by now. It's worth 30% of the continuous assessment. Only a total slacker would leave it to the day before. Slacker, cheers. Oh, come on, didn't mean like that. We better hurry, don't want to miss your appointment. But I've so much to do. Come on, slacker. <sighs> Oh, hey, Mrs. Tembe, um, could you give a hand? Because oh, it seems to be stuck. Just if do. Ah, it. Magic touch. There you go. Well, I hope it doesn't freeze on you this afternoon. Are you not in? No, um, me and Rob are meeting a social worker. Thinking of fostering. What a nice thing to do. I could never do anything so noble. Yeah, you couldn't. No, I couldn't. I'm far too selfish. And I do like to keep my house clean and tidy. So do we. Not to mention the responsibility, the endless hours of worry. It's not going to be that bad. I'm wondering who they're with, what they're up to. Oh, and I could not cope with the sleepless nights. <laughs> well, it's not like we haven't done it all before, was it? Exactly. If anyone can do it, it's you and Rob. Uh, uh, Miss Bidman. Look how much weight you've lost. I'm not anorexic. Denial's totally a part of it, I should know. Oh, I give her... She should just listen to what the doctor has to say. Tell her. It's nothing to do with me, really. She needs help. Then you should see the doctor. Don't be put off. He comes across as a right grumpy git. Total teddy bear, really. OK. Pippa Walker. You're coming in? What's up? Mrs Andrew's appointment. It's not here and I know that I put it on here myself. So stressful when that happens. Still, you must be good with stress. Why? Fostering. Looking after a child, holding down a difficult job, keeping a home, not to mention your marriage. I can barely look after myself, let alone a problem child. <laughs> and what's your diet like? Quite healthy, really. I have the odd kebab after a night out. No, you don't. I do. Just too, too off your face to notice. She barely eats, Doctor. She's tired and she exercises all the time. I have to. I'm in the rowing team. In denial, more like. I'm not. Don't mention she's dead irritable. I've got enough. This is getting us absolutely nowhere. Now, I'd like to weigh you, so... If you could give us a bit of privacy, that'd be fantastic. friend is very charming. Isn't she? Ah, oh, Dr. Reed, just to let you know that Mr. Hughes will now be with you tomorrow at 4.30. Okay, uh, can I give you the hand? Well, um, I thought he was with me. No, he asked for Dr. Reed especially. Sorry. Great. So first came Lewis and now... Oh, don't be like that. I'm not. You know, I'm happy someone's looking after him and I know he's safe in the flat for now, but... Look, he knows what you did for him. He'll be grateful one day. Mm. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting to see you today. I'm um, sorry, I've not made an appointment or anything. Well, I'm, I'm free now, if you fancy a chat. Uh, no, I don't want to interrupt. Don't be silly. Come on, come through. This is the bit where you tell me I'm underweight, right? Uh, yes, it is. And, uh, yeah, you are. Is there anything that you'd like to talk about? I really about? don't. You can tell me anything. Yeah, whatever Sammy yeah. says, I don't have an eating disorder. It's just, it's just not me. I, I eat, I do. Look, it's okay. Have you eaten today? Okay. How's about we run a few routine tests? You know, just to rule a few things out. Do it for me. Indulge me. I, I just love all that paperwork. The right little smiler. Hmm. Has his moments, mine. Oh, well, don't they all? This is his little teddy. He chews on his ear <laughs> while he goes to sleep. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Turn into a right baby bore, aren't I? Oh, you haven't. He's lovely. Anyway, how can I help? Um, I've started smoking again. 
Oh, okay. Well, don't worry. I mean, there are plenty of cessation clinics that you can go to if you want to give that a try. Try anything. It's really struggling. Yeah, well, it's not easy, but there's a lot more help out there than there used to be. All right, let's find you your local clinic. It's just like um, when I've eaten or uh, if I've had a coffee or something, that's when I get most tempted. Yeah, well, that's because caffeinated drinks always make nicotine taste better. So it might be worth thinking about giving those up too. One vice at a time, eh, Doc? <laughs> right. There you go. Give it a try. And if you're still struggling, then pop back and see me. Was there something else? Nope. That's <sighs> everything. Thank you, Doc. Well, you give my best to Rhiannon and Nicholas, won't you? Of course I will. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. As you see, yeah, there are 18 different languages. That is amazing. Well, it is a wonderful machine. Very sophisticated yeah. and international. Oh, of course. Very sleek and shiny. It really is. Like George Clooney. What? If he was a computer. It's a disaster. Yeah. Oh, what has happened? Rob's been delayed at court, which means that he can't get back in time to tidy up for me before the social worker comes. I could cover. Oh, you're an angel, Mr. Timmy. Of course you must go. Go, go. Oh, yes. Hello, Mill Health Centre. <clears throat> He's nice, that doctor. He didn't try and bulldoze me. So, what course are you doing? English. Oh, the course is fine, but uni's not really been what I thought it'd be. Everyone bangs on about how easy it is to meet people, but... Your mate, she seems a bit determined. <laughs> she means well, but she's exhausting. I thought I'd got away from all that with my mum, but... <laughs> Not homesick, then? You're kidding, right? <laughs> Couldn't wait to get out. But living with Sammy... Like a home from home. <laughs> Worse luck. Better make sure her and your mum never get together. Then you'd really be in for it. Mrs Walker, it's Sammy here. Pippa's housemate. Yes, I'm fine, thank you, but I'm not so sure Pippa is. I know what it's like to have a drama queen from mother. It's always about them and you'll never be able to change that. Too right. But you can change the way you deal with them. But I've tried. People like that, that suck you in, weigh you down. Don't let them, because if you do, it'll ruin you. I am losing weight and I'm tired all the time. Maybe they're right. I, I don't even know anymore. Just don't let anyone push you around, okay? So just take a sec. It's... No, 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 no! You're joking me! Sorry about that. You OK? Why don't you, um, come inside? Al, can you take a look at this for me? It's Pepper Walker's. Right, um, call her and get her to go to A&E as soon as possible. Pippa, darling! Mum! What are you doing here? Did you phone her? Pip, you need help. After everything I've told you. Oh, come on, don't be such a fuss pot. I've bought us all a lovely lunch. I'm not hungry. Take it, Sammy's filled you in on all my issues. Someone had to do something. Exactly. She always did stick her head in the sand about things. Acknowledging you've got a problem is the first step to solving it. 
But I don't. <laughs> you were always a chubby child. Carrying a bit of padding around the hips isn't a problem. It was never just confined to the hips. I suppose you see this as some way of regaining control or, or some such stuff and nonsense. So insightful, Nancy. See, eating disorders are never about the food. They're about control. I should know. Oh dear, you poor thing. That's why I so want to help her, because I've been there. You should be grateful to have a friend who cares about you. Not to mention a brilliant mum. It's perfectly natural for new parents to struggle. We're not struggling. I never said that. I'm sorry. I didn't... Do you know what? I knew this was going to happen. Right? They have been watching us like a hawk. And I knew you were on their side. I knew that shouldn't have come here today. Oh, oh sit what? down. Please. What's going on? They don't know I've been here now, aren't they? Who? Social services. They're gonna come and they're gonna try and take him away from me again. This is gonna be another black mark against us, isn't it? No, they won't. Listen to me. If everybody who ever asked for help had a black mark against them, that would be all of us, wouldn't it? I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to listen. You must know that by now. Giving up a child must be so hard. No staples. It must be heartrending. And then being thrown into another family. The shock, the pain. I use bulldog clips. Oh, there's a box. I just don't know how they're going to cope. Are you babbling on about Karen and Rob? Well, fostering's a big thing, isn't it? <sighs> Look, what those two are doing is to be applauded. To be admired, even. But it is not to be gossiped about. I'll just sit and watch him sleep. When they're peaceful. When he's all safe. I never thought I'd feel like this. I can't remember what it was like before he came along. <laughs> oh, being a parent can be overwhelming. And I want to be a good one. You will be. Not like my dad. He was rubbish. As I live there, and he was always drunk when he was. I swore I'd never put a kid of mine through that. You won't. Look what you've done for Nicholas already. Hmm? You're a good dad. Am I? Yes. A parent's supposed to look after the kid. It's supposed to protect him. When I think about how close we were to losing him... Yes, but you didn't, though. I've never felt like that. Helpless. What if they try and take him off me again? What? What if I? What if I lose him again? I, I, I honestly don't think I could bear it. You won't have to. Anyone can see how much you love him. And actually, you're handling things really well. Thanks to you. No. <laughs> yeah. If it weren't for you, I'd have lost him. Mmm. Delicious buns, Nancy. Where'd you get them? I don't do shop board. I just knocked out a dozen or so before I came over. Home baking? Mm. You don't know how lucky you are. Pippa was brought up with every advantage. Not that she appreciates it. I'll tell you how I was brought up, shall I? Mm -hmm. I was brought up to think I was just a bit rubbish. What? What did you just say? 
Just that... I wish you wouldn't... Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Your mum went through all this trouble and you're still not eating. Sorry. It's ungrateful of me. Mm. Pippa, Pippa, for goodness sake, where on earth are your manners? Hey, Mum. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Come on. Follow the rules. Oh. oh! Pippa, Pippa, stop! Pippa, Pippa! Oh, for goodness sake. Stop picking up. Do you think I should go and look for her? It feels like she's Hello. dodging us. And she doesn't want to be found. So please Keep trying. Pippa, it's Aisha calling from the campus surgery again. I've got your test results here. If you can give me a call as soon as you get this, please. Sorry about the mess. It's fine, really. <laughs> uh, we just have to make sure your home's suitable and safe. We're not judging. My husband should be here any minute. He's, um, he's in court. He's not a criminal. He's a policeman. That's not to say that there aren't criminal policemen, because there are, but he's just not one of them. Good. Yeah. <laughs> You're a medical receptionist, aren't you? Yes. Uh, for um, seven years. Where are my manners? I haven't got off a joke of Karen, mm. relax. Your home's really lovely. <laughs> It's warm and welcoming, just like you. Oh. Why don't we just wait and have tea when else we get here? Good idea. Yeah. Oh, that's that's him. Now. We're, we're in here. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm. Yeah. Uh, Gina, Rob, Rob, Gina. Hi, Gina. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Yeah. Shall we have that cup then? Oh yes. yes. I'll just get changed. Oh, hello. Yes. Um, Finishing up his law diploma in Newcastle, isn't he? And he's stopping up for the while. Though why he is, I don't know. I mean, I've nothing against the place because it's perfectly nice and, and they've a lovely station. Never been myself. Oh, well, why would you? It's freezing, flipping cold. Well, we don't know how often we'll be going there to visit. You. I mean, I've been holding my breath, praying that he doesn't meet some northern girl and decide to stay up there for good because we'd never be out of our thermals, would we? Chance of being a fine thing. <laughs> and we, we, well, London's much warmer, but it's full of Londoners, isn't it? Oh. Anyway, so Amy's yeah. getting on really well down there, isn't she? Yeah, she's... She's um, working in a really trendy art gallery. I forget the area. What did she say it was called? Dolston. Dolston. That's apparently very, very cool. Although you can't say cool, because if you say cool, it's not cool. No. <laughs> um, you're not from London, are you? No. A oh. few. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't be bothered with the place, because it's so expensive. And the dirt and the crime and the grime and the... You know, it takes you... Take an hour to get anywhere, doesn't it? I can't be bothered with it. No, but although it is the place to be for art, Amy says. And that's what she says, and she would know. I'm a, I suppose that you would say that we've been lucky with our kids, you know, but we don't really believe that luck had anything to do with it. We more believe, don't we, that um, that it's it, it's a stable environment, you know, that that's the key to bringing up... Yeah, we've kids. not been perfect, but we got there, didn't we? We did. Yeah, because, you know, we've had our problems, but, um, you know, we always uh, managed to get through it in the end. <laughs> Come on, Chat. Second, second, second. Hello? Ambulance, please. Would you like another one? Make everything from scratch. We're normally about healthy eating, aren't we? 
Just did a lot of baking with the kids. It was our bonding time. You know, only a couple of times a week and nothing fancy like butterfly cakes and such, but, and always after their homework it finished. The hedgehog cake, that was pretty spectacular. Yes, that was, um, that was Jack's birthday. His fourth We've got birthday. photos, yeah, yeah right. we've got, um, it, yeah, they all sank in the middle and the prickles melted, didn't they? Mm. Yeah, so I mean, not that I remember. The kids cried when you brought it out. It, uh, they thought it was roadkill. <laughs> I'm, I'm a much better baker now, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you are. It's not like I've forgotten how to, to do it. You know, even with everything that happened, I, I... And I can still remember how to look after a child. Of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take this. That's fine. You take it. I'll make a fresh brew. It's going well. I I'm just worried that she's going to ask me something and I can't remember. That. Just be honest. She knows what's happened. No one is trying to catch you out. But I don't want to mess things up. You won't. If it's okay, I'd like to tell her. That's fine. No problem. Thanks. Hey. Hi. So what's wrong with me? You've got diabetes, type 1. Oh. You've had diabetic ketoacidosis. It's been coming on for a while. It can happen when diabetes goes undiagnosed. Is that why I've been feeling so rubbish? It explains the tiredness, feeling sick, all the symptoms you've been having. I know it's a lot to take in, but at least you know what it is now. Thank you. I was really starting to think I was losing it. It was all getting on top of me, Mum and Sammy, and... I tried to get them to back off, really, I did, but... They didn't listen. You're going to need to make some changes. Not just for your health, but for your head, too. I will, I promise. You've been brilliant. It's your life, Pepper. Is there any indication your memory might become an issue in the future? Uh, well, I should say no, shouldn't I? Make you think that I'm fine, and I wish that I could. Um, but the truth is that I don't know. Well, don't worry. I'm sure it'll all come out in your medical. Oh, so you, you could still say no after the medical? We always have to wait for the test results before writing off our report. Are you worried that, that, I, that I won't remember what to do? Or, the tests are fairly standard. Or that I'll have a blackout or something or, or, or when I'm driving or holding a baby? Well, the medical's just a formality. I'm sorry. I can't answer. Sorry. The doctor says that he can explain Pippa's treatment if you want. Yes, yes, we know all about it. Hmm. Excuse me for breathing. Oh, you poor darling. I knew something was wrong. You would never normally speak to Mummy like that. Just as well I took you to the surgery. Oh, you look after her so well. We have to be careful now, though. I can help you with your diet and any recipes, exercises. Listen to the pair of you. It's always about you. Flipping mother of the year and Miss Former Anorexia 2013. I'm not the problem, you two are. If it hadn't been oh, for me. Yeah, 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 give it a rest. Anyone ever told you you've got a voice like Fog on Leghorn? He never shut up either. Is that the thanks you give your friend? Friends listen. She bullies just like you, and I've had it with a pair of you. Best interests. For my own good, yeah, right. You just want to feel smug and superior like her? I thought you were rude because you were ill, but it's just you. There must be some of the mixed-up kids out there. Go and mess with their heads. Knock speechless for once. I think I like you better, Mute. I suppose I'm stuck with you. You've been through a lot. You're bound to feel upset. You're sick, darling. Yeah, I'm sick. Sick of you. Diabetes is a life-changing condition. I think it's best if you come back home after you've been discharged from here. Get stuffed. Philippa, it's times like this that a girl really needs her mother. You're the very last thing I need. But I have done everything for you. I can look after myself. I know now what's wrong with me. It's you, Mum. Just go home. Well, if 
you need me, you know where I'll be. I won't call you. It's just you now. Yeah. Feels good. I'm, uh, sorry about that. I'll arrange to pop it later. Oh, that would be great if you don't mind. She really, really wants this. We both do. I'll be in touch, Mr. Hollins. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Upset, that's all. Yeah, but I've ruined it all. They're not going to give a kid to someone who can't remember bringing up their own. We don't know that. It's bound to affect our chances. It was my normal seminar on Moby Dick. They said they found it so evocative they could smell the sea. I said, you sure it isn't Professor Wilson just walking past? <laughs> it's a travesty. I thought I picked up a hint that someone might be interested in me. Really? Is it that obvious?